In this video, I'm going to show you how to create social media icons for your WordPress site using a simple plugin, and you can customize them relatively easily, and it's pretty awesome. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish new WordPress tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, let's head over to the screen capture to learn how to make these social media icons. I'll see you there. So first things first, on the WordPress dashboard, we've got to install the plugin to show our social icons. So if we go to plugins and then add new and type in social icons in the search bar, there are a lot of different options. Any one of these works. Uh, they're all compatible with the latest version. The, the difference between them is their different styles. So this one will have icons that are smashed up together like that. This one will have icons that you see in the thumbnail here, they're a little bit separated. So depending on which one you want, which style you want, you need to choose the appropriate plugin. You might have to do some trial and error, try a couple of them, see which ones you like. So I'm just gonna install this one up here by WP Zoom. I've used them before. I like their, their plugin. So we're just gonna demo that one. And if you guys want me to show you how to create social icons without a plugin, just using purely CSS and HTML, let me know in the comments below. If I get enough people wanting me to do that, I'll make a tutorial for that. But as of right now, we're just using this plugin. We have it installed now. If we head over to Appearance and then Widgets, we have a new item in here called Social Icons by WP Zoom. I'm gonna click and drag that to the top of the sidebar. I'm gonna change this title. No, I'm gonna keep that title how it is. Show icon labels, yes or no, up to you. I usually choose no. They can choose the icon style. You might have to do a little trial and error to see which one you like better. I like the rounded corners. You can choose square or round. And again, the, the padding and the pixels the, the, for the size of the, the icons themselves. Again, trial and error to figure out what works best for you. And then WP Zoom adds its own links for these three icons. You can just delete their link and add yours in for Facebook. Same for Twitter, same for Instagram. If you want to add more social icons, just click on add more. Adds another row right here. Click this little plus icon. Change this drop down from dash icons to Soshi icons or sock icons, soak icons, however you want to pronounce it. Then you pick one of these from these social networks. This is a pretty exhaustive list, a lot of social networks here. So just pick dig, for example, click on save. And I'm just gonna type in the URL. Now we have our dig icon. And you can have as many as you want in here. So just go nuts. You wanna change the color of this icon? And change it right up here. So let's make this icon yellow. Safe. So now we have dig in yellow, really hard to read because the, the text is in white, but that's okay. So you add as many as you want, then click on save. And then we head out to the website and we see these social icons added here. And again, with the trial and error, we can just change these values to whatever we want. Click on save, refresh this page and then see how it looks. And then we can change those things till we get to a version that we like and then we're good to go. That's how we add social icons. And of course, as you know, doing it without plugins is better because it's better for your site, makes your site load faster, work faster, work better, less vulnerable for security risks, but I don't know if there's a lot of demand for it. So before I spend all the time making that tutorial, let me know if you want it in the comments below. That's all there is to setting the social media icons. And like I said, if you want me to do it in CSS and HTML, just leave me a comment down below. If I get enough interest in it, I'll make that video for you. If you haven't done so yet, hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials for you. And next up is clicking one of these videos on the right hand side so you can learn even more about WordPress to get even better at it. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.